This stork bird you see in this video is about to kill its babies. These baby storks have the worst mother in the world. Perhaps because stork birds only keep the strongest chicks and kill all the weaker ones. But they are not the only evil parents in the animal kingdom. In this video we show you some of the worst animal parents in the world. Before you continue, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss amazing animal related videos like this. Cuckoo Chick This big cuckoo chick that you are looking at has the worst mother in the world. Interestingly it will shock you to know the chick is not even sitting in its own nest. Funny enough, someone else's parents take care of the chick. Have you heard about the cuckoo chick before? The cuckoo chick is the most famous bad mother. She just leaves her children in other people's nests and let them take care of themselves. Stork Birds In this video you see the stork throws at babies out of the nest. It is highly doubtful the chicks survive this fall. Of course storks do not do this because they hate children and not because of some mental issues. Moreover for some animals, and birds, such behavior is just normal. Many of us will not support this behavior but the intentional killing of offsprings by their parents is practiced by a good number of animal species. Some people call this practice, reduction of brood. White storks also do it but it has nothing to do with their parenting quality. It is just natural selection. When parents realize that they just don't have enough resources to feed all their children, they get rid of one or two. Most often they get rid of the weakest ones. But sometimes, everything happened by accident and mostly as a means of survival. Hippopotamuses In this other video, the little hippopotamus was just two days old when the mother introduced her to the rest of the herd. As she tried to introduce her new baby, everything turned out to be a disaster. Several adults attacked the little hippo and killed her. Literally ripping her to pieces. The mother tried to protect her to no avail. The crocodile ate the baby's remains. Honestly, the whole situation looked like a perfect illustration of the expression, cruel wildlife. But as in most cases with the stork, the adult animals had a reason to do so. Most likely it has all to do about overpopulation. A standard herd of hippopotamus is made up of 10 to 15 individuals. Maybe there was just no room for the baby hippo. The reasons why hippopotamuses commit infanticide is relatively unknown as a result of the difficulties involved in studying these aggressive creatures. These are real killing machines. As hippopotamuses tend to attack even people who were too close to their source of water. Or they can trample anyone who gets in their way. You know it is quite difficult to conduct research under such conditions. And even if people did want to save that poor little baby hippo, they simply couldn't because no one can survive an angry hippopotamus. Lions As mentioned before, killing little ones is a behavior that is common for many animals. Even noble lions are not an exception. Male lions are lazy, greedy, and dreadful parents. When a male in a pride changes it kills the cubs of his predecessor and they can still drink their mother's milk. They turn to lie around all day waiting for their wives to bring home prey. And instead of letting their females and younger ones have the first pick, the males will eat as much as they want, mostly leaving them with scraps. The fact is the females of most mammals can't mate and get pregnant while feeding. By feeding little lions the male approaches the moment of conception of its own babies. Sharks Sharks are well known to be terrible mothers. Even before their babies are born. The little babies live peacefully inside the uterus of a shark until they start developing teeth which makes them begin to feel hungry. Then the baby sharks will start to eat each other inside their mother's womb before they are even born. The mother shark gives birth once there are only about 2 to 10 babies left in her stomach. This bad parenting continues immediately after the baby sharks are born because the mother shark doesn't look after them. They are left to survive on their own and their mother may even try to eat them if she is feeling hungry. Isn't it a tough life being a shark? Hang on. This is all just nonsense compared to the behavior of pigs. 
pigs. This is where the real trash and hardcore parental wickedness begins. Sometimes pigs have aggression attacks and they bite their congeners. For example because they are sick, or because it is too tight there or well in fact scientists are not completely sure what the reason for all this is. Too many factors and not enough research. But one thing is violence against adults and quite another is violence against little pigs. Sometimes the sow eats its babies right after birth. This behavioral disorder may perhaps happen as a result of very painful and difficult childbirth or very poor survival conditions. Sometimes aggression is limited only to bites but the mother is capable of biting her newborn babies to death and she wouldn't be upset at all. According to one school of thought, it could be violation of the instinct of protection of offsprings. That is it suddenly sees its piglets as dangerous unwelcomed guests or maybe she just wants to. An animal that is able to eat its own newly born children should hardly explain the reasons for its behavior. Although people certainly try to prevent the killing of piglets, sedative after childbirth seem to help. But in many cases the beginning of maternal aggression is simply postponed. In addition, the desire to harm their offspring is most often hereditary. And to avoid violent behavior, people simply limit reproduction of certain pigs. Now let us leave the pig hardcore and look at the type of parents ducks are. Ducks. There is nothing cuter than a baby duck. It is fussy, tiny, and delicate. However, their parents are one of the worst animal parents you can think of. Both the mother and father will kill their ducklings. This usually occurs when a parent thinks something is wrong with the baby duck and doesn't believe it will survive childhood. It may also occur when there are too many ducklings in a brood. Parents therefore want to focus their attention on a few as this increases their chances of survival. Interestingly, duck parents will even selectively kill their ducklings to balance up the number of male ducklings to female ducklings. This may seem brutal, but it is just the ugly side of mother nature, and it is perfectly natural. And don't be surprised that male ducks are very jealous and will go to the extent of killing their male ducklings if they feel bitter about not getting as much attention from their wives. Cuckoos Let us go back to the cuckoos at the beginning of this video. This is a very interesting model of bird behavior but it is not unique. They can be considered quite caring parents. They feed their offsprings with fresh meat, protect them from cold, heat and predators. They don't even throw anyone out of the nest as storks do. This is not because they are ready to take care of even a few chicks as their chicks do all they dirty work for them. The oldest chick can act aggressively towards its brothers and sisters and its attempt to dominate may well lead to the death of another chick. Do you know that its parents will do nothing? Because the strongest one survives and this is only beneficial for them. With less problems with food for the many chicks, the parents can spend the time saved on themselves. But wait! It is not only cuckoos. Let us not forget about this other very famous disgusting animal parenthood species. Pandas. It is of course pandas. Pandas funny, charming and almost extinct as this species is classified as vulnerable and there are several reasons. But the main reason for their near extinction is the disgusting care for their offspring. Pandas are not very eager to reproduce. But when they try to do so, twins are often born and then a young mother is faced with the choice of which of the cubs to feed and which to leave to die. Yes you got that right. Most often the chance to survive is given to the first baby. Panda cubs are blind and completely helpless at birth and their weight is about 1 900th of their mother's weight. A panda mother must hold the child firmly to keep its body warm and press it to the chest to feed. So the mother has to do everything for her baby and she cannot do these operations with two babies at the same time. So people have found a solution to the problem. Of course when it comes to the birth of twins in captivity, soon after birth, caretakers take one of the babies by deceiving the mother and making her think that she only gave birth to one child. And yes. The panda easily believes it. To feed the cubs properly the twins are changed up ten times a day to maintain the illusion of a single panda baby. 
One of the cubs is almost always with the mother while the other is kept in an incubator and eats formula. This way both babies have the opportunity to survive and their mother to have some space and less stress. Hope you learned something from this video on some of the worst animal parents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.